Hey everybody, and welcome back to Investment Honey, where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel, and I don't even encourage you to invest, but what I am willing to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So in the spirit of the World Cup, I, was, I did want to, uh, you know, find a project that, you know, we could go ahead and talk about, you know, on this channel in regards to, you know, soccer. You know, so uh, we've got Soccer Inu here. And uh, this is a launch token, you know, but before we go ahead and get into it, I do want to let you know that if you are somebody getting value out of the channel and you would like to support the channel, we do go ahead and give you a way to do that uh, through the tip jar. And that information is in the description. You know, so make sure you always engage with information in the description because I always leave relevant information regarding a project that's covered on the channel there for you to engage with. So, uh, again, we've got Soccer Inu. It is set out to become the biggest and safest, safest utility meme on the BSC. We'll continue to grow until we reach the top with marketing utility and more they got some uh, social or not some social but some links up here in the navigation bar home about tokenomics roadmap and socials and um, the, again this is a large token so we're all going to go ahead and take a look at the chart you know but the things that I do want to highlight you know to you in regards to this project before we get going is that um, there is no white paper on it no audit that I've been able to go to to be able to locate, you know, at the time of scouting the project, uh, team's not photodocs, you know, no certificate of KYC has been found, you know, so I do have some concerns in, you know, in regards to just some foundational elements, things that we always want to go ahead and see in a project, you know, the audit, the white paper and certificate of KYC, we don't get any of that, you know, with this one. Um, you know, but moving forward, you know, I do want to go ahead and show you the chart, you know, so we're, we're looking at the one, the 30 minute, okay, and we can see, you know, they launched, you know, and Kind of traded, you know, a little up and down, not a not a whole lot of volatility in terms of, you know, the, the ups and downs here that we go ahead and we see. And, um, you know, then they had a big push, you know, obviously to people took profits, you know, and the, and the chart came down and consolidated. And then we see the next leg up, you know, so they went ahead and they spiked up here and it consolidated all the way down. And so now we see less and less volatility. But um, but, yeah, you can still see that you know, down below you got some buys and sells going on. But uh, there certainly is some interest in regards to this token sitting at a current market cap of just around 60,000. So just be aware of that. Um, but yeah, that's the chart for you. Okay. So moving forward, we can see some information about it. Uh, soccer Inu on a grassy BSC field and create this beautiful community. Uh, soccer Inu is so popular because it's accessible for everybody. Everybody can be a part of the Soccer Inu community, no matter how old you are, your gender, etc. We've got three and a half billion soccer fans worldwide. That's why Soccer Inu became the most popular meme token on the BSC. So here at Soccer Inu, we are constantly working towards developing new ways to help the, box, the blockchain run safely and secure in a Adapt to the end users need. With our tokenomics, users will be assured they are in a safe project. So, and then we can see tokenomics here, 8% on the buys and sells, broken down, 5% going to marketing, 2% to liquidity, and 1% to development. We see the roadmap here, you know, so they got three phases, and then four is going to be coming soon. So on the first one, we see the stealth launch on Pancake, V1 website launch, uh, Telegram, Twitter exposure, community contest, White paper release listings on Conehead, Coin Sniper, and many more. V2 website update, and then we see here in phase two, uh, influencer partnership. You know CMC and CG applications. I love the fact that they do state they're applying and not listing because again you can control the application. You can't control when you get listed. YouTube and TikTok promotions, NFT collection preview, utility development, uh, soccer and Dex development, utility release, and the NFT holder or collection for holders, crypto and soccer, news outlets, manual burn and buyback, team recruitment and expansion, and centralized exchange listing. And then we see here in phase four, more is coming soon. So, I mean, as far as the roadmap is concerned, I mean, they've got a number of things that you know, all sound good and well, but I do want them to, in my personal opinion, you know, I would advise cross up stuff you've already completed. This is the same kind of feedback that I would give on any number of other projects that have been covered on the channel because it helps. It's an opportunity. It really is to communicate with people that are coming across your project to see that you are engaged with your roadmap, that you understand how fluid roadmaps are. You know, and if you're constantly, if you're connected to it, you know, and you make changes, if you're indicating what is in process, you know, what's pending and what's ongoing, you know, you're able to go ahead and keep up with those changes and make those changes 
and still communicate with people that are looking at your roadmap, you know, that may never even make it to your social channels, you know, so that's just my personal opinion there. And um, it would be good, you know, for them to indicate timelines, you know, so what months actually constitute, you know, phase one, phase two, phase three. Are we looking to go ahead and end development on the projects in 2022 or is this going to go into 2023? Um, and I do like the fact that they do indicate here that basically we're going to see more, you know, in terms of, you um, what they're going to do with this project, you know, because it's indicated by coming soon here uh, at, in phase four. So, all right, and then we get to the uh, the end of the website and we see, you know, uh, links to their Telegram and Twitter. All right, so that does it for me, you know, in regards to Soccer Inn, I just wanted to do a quick video, you know, on this project because, you know, we are in the season of the World Cup and uh, people are looking for uh, these kind of projects, you know, so I thought I'd go ahead and give you one, you know, that uh, that's launched and seems to be doing doing all right, in my personal opinion. So uh, that'll do it for me in regards to this project and this video. If you guys are interested in learning more, by all means, the main thing you can do is, you know, see who else is talking about the project, you know, and also get into the social community and see you know, uh, see what you can, you know, kind of assess, you know, from there in terms of how the community is responding, you know, to this project, um, how they're engaging with the team and how the team is engaging with the community as well. And to keep up with any further future development on the project, you know, before, you know, as you kind of make a determination as to whether this is something you want to engage, you know, with or not. So thank you so much for watching. As you know, as always, we don't ever, we never encourage you to invest on the channel, but we do encourage you to get informed, you know, so make sure that for any crypto project that you are operating from a position of um, really having, you know, all the details regarding that project, you know, so that um, you're not operating from a place of FOMO or hype, but one whereby you have all the information uh, where you feel confident about any kind of uh, decision you're going to make concerning participation in any project. So thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, we give you a way for, for you to do that you know, below through our tip jar. And um, you know, as always, ladies and gentlemen, I just appreciate the fact that you take time out of your day to listen to somebody representing you know, a small uh, crypto channel in, uh, when there are so many other channels out there that are far more established and have much greater followings. But, uh, you know, I certainly hope that this channel can continue, you know, to um, provide value to you, um, you know, in the coming days as we continue to try to grow our exposure, you know, on the YouTube platform. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave the links relevant to the project in the description below. And as always, you all enjoy the day.